Well, fresh criticism today for the women's soccer team owned by Governor Murphy and First Lady Tammy Murphy. A scathing report finds systemic abuse throughout women's soccer. It says a culture of abuse could begin as early as youth soccer. News 12 New Jersey's Alex Sedan with a story that some may find disturbing. A new report from a former Deputy Attorney General of the United States. We were troubled by a lot of conduct that we saw here. Shines a spotlight on the National Women's Soccer League and what the report said was a pattern of manipulation by coaches that included verbal and emotional abuse, sexually charged remarks, and coercive sexual contact. Which is why we thought that it was important to lay it all out in terms of based on the evidence that we were able to find, who knew what, when, and what they did about it, and what they didn't do about it. The one-year investigation interviewed 200 people, including First Lady Tammy Murphy. Since 2008, she and Governor Phil Murphy have co-owned Sky Blue Women's Soccer Team, later renamed Gotham FC, which currently holds its home matches at Red Bull Stadium in Harrison, just across the river from Nork. The First Lady took a more active role in running the club in 2019 after news stories of dismal living conditions for the female players emerged. The report includes more detail, including a Sky Blue player saying the club was extremely cheap and that players reported living in houses with broken windows, cracked floors, leaking ceilings, dried mucus on the walls, and in one instance, a whole human toenail sitting on a windowsill. One Sky Blue player said she found a bag of cocaine in her bedsheets. The report also includes a chilling warning for parents of young girls who play soccer, saying some of the coaches whose conduct we examined had significant connections to youth soccer. During the course of our investigation, we confronted multiple historical reports of verbal and sexual abuse of youth soccer players. Alex and Ann, News 12, New Jersey. Alex, thank you. A spokesperson for Gotham FC said in a statement to News 12, quote, the U.S. Soccer Report brings to light several past issues regarding living and playing conditions that have long since been addressed. The team now resides in upscale luxury apartments in northern New Jersey, ensuring high quality living conditions has been a priority for ownership. This was Tammy Murphy's first order of business when she became club chair in 2019.